Numbers from 51 to 60. Hello friends, I am the parrot. You are welcome to this lesson. Come let us see what you will learn in this lesson. Numbers from 51 to 60 and writing those numbers in terms of 1s and 10s. Today Chotu's mother has given him many almonds. Chotu, I need your help. Make pouches of these almonds, then it will be easy to distribute them. Alright, mummy. I can make pouches with 10 almonds in each pouch. I will be able to count the almonds easily. See this, mummy. I have made so many pouches. Chotu, how many pouches of almonds have you made? Children, can you tell me how many pouches of almonds has Chotu made? Come, let us see. Mummy, I have made 5 pouches with 10 almonds in each. So it comes to 50 almonds. Okay, now Chotu, take 5 more almonds. Count these as well. So earlier I had 50 almonds and 5 more almonds. So it will make 51, 52, 53, 54 and 55. It means 55 almonds. Yes, Chotu. So can you tell me how many 1s and 10s are there in 55? Yes, Mummy. 55 has 5 10s and 5 1s. Very good. Chotu, you are absolutely correct. Chotu's mother has given him some more almonds. Let us see what he is doing now. Mummy, these are 5 more almonds. Yes, Chotu. Can you now count and tell me how many almonds you have in total? To begin with, I had 55 almonds, which means 5 tens and 5 ones. And now 5 more ones. So, after 55 comes 56, 57, 58, 59 and 60. This means 60 almonds. So, Chotu, how many ones and tens do you have right now? Mummy, now I have 5 tens and 10 ones. So children, what do you think? Has Chotu answered correctly? Let us see. Yes, Chotu, you are right. 5 tens means 50 almonds and 10 ones means 10 almonds. And these 10 almonds will make 1 more tens. So in all we have 6 tens, meaning 60 almonds. 60 almonds means 6 groups of 10 almonds each, which becomes 6 tens. Is this right, Mummy? Yes, Chotu, you are right. So, children, that is all for today. In this video, we have learned about numbers from 51 to 60 and how to read these numbers in terms of 1s and 10s. In the next video, we will learn about numbers from 61 to 70. Until then, bye children. Numbers from 61 to 70 Hello children. In the previous video, we had learned how to read numbers from 51 to 60 in terms of 1s and 10s. In this video, we will learn numbers from 61 to 70 and some interesting examples on how to read those numbers in terms of 1s and 10s. Children, today Choto with his friends is going on a school tour to a candle making factory where beautiful candles are being made and then sent to shops where these are sold. Oh, Pinky, look, this place has so many candles. Yes, but how do these people count so many candles? Come, let me tell you. They first put 10 candles in each box. Right now, we have 6 such boxes in front of us. So, can you tell me how many candles must be there in total? Yes, see, there are 6 boxes with 10 candles in each of them. Six boxes would mean 60 candles. Chotu, look, there are four more candles. Please count these as well. We have six boxes of candles here, which means 60 candles. And four more along with these comes to 61. 
62, 63 and 64. These are 64 in total. Pinky, can you tell me how many ones and tens are there in 64? Yes, 64 has 6 tens and 4 ones. Excellent, you are absolutely correct. A little later, Chotu and Pinky found some more candles there. Come, let us see what they are doing now. Oh, look, Pinky. Some more candles. Yes, Chotu. Let us count these also. Earlier, we had a total of 64 candles. And now we have five more. Children, do you know how many candles have Chotu and Pinky seen so far? Come, let us find. After 64 candles, it will be 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So these are now 69 candles. Chotu, can you tell me how many tens and ones are there in 69? 69 has 6 tens and 9 ones. Yes, Chotu, you are right. Earlier we saw 6 groups of 10 candles each and then we saw 9 loose candles. Which means nine ones. Yes, Pinky. Counting candles was a lot of fun today. Children, you saw how Chotu and Pinky counted candles. They had 69 candles, which means six tens and nine ones. Children, had Chotu and Pinky got one more candle, then what would have become the total number of candles? They would have got 70 candles. Meaning, after 6 groups of 10 candles, they would have got one more bundle of 10 candles. This means 7 tens. That was all for today, children. In this video, we have learned about numbers from 61 to 70 and saw some interesting examples about how to read those numbers in terms of 1s and 10s. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to numbers from 51 to 70 and discuss some common mistakes that we should avoid. Until then, bye children! Interesting examples of numbers from 51 to 70. Hello children! In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples of numbers from 51 to 70. In this video, we will see some more examples related to those numbers. We will also discuss about the common mistakes that we should avoid. Today, Chonu and Aarti are playing a game together. At the end of the game, they are figuring out who got a higher score. I have scored 56. Aarti, what is your score? Chotu, I have scored 65 points. Hey, this means that our scores are the same. Aarti, both of us have won this game. No, Chotu, I have scored more than you. Let us go to mummy and ask her that who has scored more. Alright Chotu, let us go. Children, what do you think? Are 56 and 65 equal? Come let us see. 56 means 5 tens and 6 ones. And 65 means 6 tens and 5 ones. The two numbers have different tens and ones. This means that 56 and 65 are not equal. Children, can you tell me which number is greater between the two? Yes, correct. 65 is the greater number because it has more tens. Now do you understand Chotu? Since 65 is a greater number, I have won the game. Yes, I have understood Aarti. Anyway Chotu, now I am going home. See you tomorrow. Chotu and Aarti are thinking of making a model today with matchsticks. Aarti, we will need 70 matchsticks for the model. Alright Chotu, let us ask Mummy for matchsticks. Mummy, please give us matchsticks. We want to make a model using them. Okay, take these. Oh Chotu, these are too many matchsticks. Let us take 70 out of this pile. Please make bundles of 10 each of these so that counting becomes easier. 
All right, I will count. So these are now seventy matchsticks. Oh, Chotu, how many bundles have you made? Aarti, for seventy we needed seven bundles and seventy has a zero also, which means ten more matchsticks. Therefore, I have made eight bundles of ten matchsticks. You are not doing this correctly, Chotu. Wait, let me explain. Seventy has seven tens and zero ones. Zero ones. What does zero ones means? Zero ones means there is not even a single loose matchstick. For seventy matchsticks, you will need to make seven bundles of ten matchsticks each. Okay, now I have understood. Thank you, Aarti. So, children, that is all for today. In this video, we saw some common mistakes that we should avoid. For instance, fifty-six and sixty-five are not equal, and if a number has zero in one's place, it does not mean ten. I sincerely hope that you have understood this topic. Bye, friends.